All right, so um, good evening once again, everyone. We want to um, begin um, discussing the examination of the gravity uterus. That is an obstetric examination. Um, so personally, when I was in school, our um, obstetric examination wasn't the OSCE type. When it comes to obstetrics, we are actually given a long case. When you say long case, plan the case and examine the case very well. Then you present it and tell them what they are finding. I mean your findings. Okay. But um, studying the system, I envisage, and in fact it, 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 it happened, just that I have not been um, someone who has experienced that situation before, but my genius have that um, the instruction can come that examine a direct instruction, examine the gravity trust. How many of you have had that instruction before? It was just today. No, no, I'm talking of MDC. Have you had that before? Have you had that before? Examine the gravity interest. Just the gravity interest. Or it can come as examine the pregnant woman. That was my, 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 my case. Examine the pregnant woman. Examine the gravity interest. So, um, I don't know what the specialists have taught you. But again, when you're asked, you come and seek consent, all those things. And then you come and stand and then observe and then quickly come and do the examination. You don't do all those things. It's just like abdominal examination versus gastrointestinal examination. But if you are asked to examine the pregnant woman, perform a general examination and go this way. Okay? And you should not end your examination without saying that. Especially when the scenario is the one is excessive. You should not end your examination without saying that. You will end by doing a unit. Or sorry, a unit. You shouldn't. If you meet a case of nephrotic syndrome or examining a case of nephrotic syndrome and then you make that diagnosis in the hospital, you cannot end by saying that you would also like to do a urine deficit, even in examination. So the take home message here is that if the scenario says that, I mean, I'm going to give you a clinical scenario, right? If the scenario says that examine the gravity trust, this woman's a hypertensive, after you are done, you cannot complete the examination by saying that you want to do a urine testing, not RA, please, a testing for proteins. Because that is how you make the diagnosis. Without the uh, proteins, how, how, how would you know if it is actually preeclampsia? Because the definition of preeclampsia says that there has to be one, at least plus two protein here and above. So without the proteins, how were you able to make the diagnosis? Or unless you want to say that, yes, the patient has gestational hypertension or pregnancy induced hypertension. But you need to end by saying that you will do the um, the urinary. I mean urine testing. I keep saying urinary. So listen for the examination. Sandra, what was the what was the key she got? Examination of gravity interest. Oh, like, like there was no pathology. Mm -hmm. No pathology. So it's like you start. And it's you start from your general. And you do a general exam. Ah, what? How was the instruction like? It was like perform a general examination. Okay, then after you, after you were done, they said examine the gravity trust. Or what you said, perform a general examination of the woman. Yes. On so the on the pregnant, exactly. So that was all I was saying. That our time, examine the pregnant woman. That is all. Examine this pregnant woman. That is all. So you do the general examination and then. After that, you come and then focus on the gravity trust. Do you get it? But if the instructions goes ahead to say that examine the gravity trust, it will be wrong to begin with a parallel and all those check. I mean, checking for power parallel, capillary flow time, and all this, and then coming here. Then it means that you didn't understand the instruction. So please get a difference, okay? If the instruction says examine this pregnant woman. Examine her means examine her. So you come and see consent, come and stand at the foot end of the bed. Okay. They added their weeks. Oh, again? They added their weeks. The weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they didn't give you her condition. They didn't give you the clinical the clinical yet. Oh, I mean I mean that it's is like fine. when you examine then you pick up what's wrong. Oh. Uh, so all those would mean that he was asked, he was asked to uh, examine the nails. He measured the percentage and was asked about the mm -hmm. um, differentials for mm -hmm. 
I mean, I mean, that is part of the uh, examination of the primary interest. When you say pick up, once you pick it up, then the questions begin. Okay. Are you doing other 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 other? I mean, I mean, that is fine. That is perfectly fine. But the but the point here is that if you are asked to examine this pregnant woman, go ahead and begin from this place. Don't go to the abdomen. Are you asked to examine the gravity trust? Please go straight there. Or you said that the specialist said she examined. How, how, how did you do it? Did they do a general exam like that before they came? If they say that you should examine the gravity trust, you don't have to do the lights palpation and the lights palpation. Just go straight to the gravity trust. Well, um, so, so the, to be very frank, I, I'm not disputing that. I, I'm, I'm, very, I'm, not, I'm not disputing that. But um, when we were, what we were taught was that you don't need to do the deep palpation. That is it. But the deep palpation seeks to get organ make and deliver the spleen and the kidneys. But you need to begin from light palpation to pick up the mass. Only are reporting. This is how we thought to report. On light palpation, there were no areas of tenderness. But there was a mass palpated, which I suspect to be the gravity matrix. That was the sentence. There was a mass palpable. And you sit, I mean, you sit where it extends from. There was a mass which was palpable, extending from the supra pubic region to maybe the umbilicus or to the sternum, which I suspect to be the gravity trust. That's the thing that's okay. Because if you just go ahead and then you, so like a palpation, and then I felt a mass gravity trust. Then when you are doing the, eh, uh, hey, eh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that is fine. But if they ask you to just go go ahead and do the uterus, I mean that is okay. But I'm just telling you what we were taught. You need to have felt a mass. You need to have felt, felt a mass, and you just go ahead and say that I suspect it to be a the uterus. Then you go ahead. All right. So um, yeah. So what conditions do you have to pay attention to when it comes to the Examination of the gravity trust. Don't think about bleeding in pregnancy. No, no. On examination. I mean, it may come, but don't, don't, don't at all. Don't at all. You cannot go there without knowing about IEGR, number one. Or the differentials of SFH. You cannot go there without knowing it. It means that if you are going to the obstetric hospital, you need to pay attention to conditions like IUGM. Okay? You need to pay attention to conditions like oligohydramnios. You should be able to discuss that. Do you get it? You should be able to discuss macrosomia, polyhydramnios, PROM, because all those would lead to this. Premature abdominal membranes, what would, yes. But placenta previa, all those, no. Unless they create a scenario for you. Okay? So, so that is the gravity trust. So please. And then, of course, um, as for the medical conditions in pregnancy, they usually test them in history. So it's not like, but maybe one of the things you should pay attention to is diabetes. Because once you pick up a macrosomic baby, you are, you are probably going to talk about diabetes, maternal diabetes. So you have to pay attention to it. And my point is that things like, um, um, maybe hypertension in pregnancy, maybe that's an IUGR guy. Hey, I didn't bring it in. Um, the Pinado. Uh, someone, someone would have to go to the bar. Or I have to go, else they don't give it to you. Okay, that is fine. Um, so, with that said, Farida will come and demonstrate how she will examine this. So, the instruction will be the instruction will be examine this pregnant woman. I think they give the gestational age so that you can base on that and then see whether it is what's uh, large for gestational age. So they need to they need to give that. So this woman is a 35 weeker. Examine the examine her, not the gravity trust. Perform an examination on this pregnant woman. Can you can you end it?